Hello there, everyone, and welcome to Dratnus' Minecraft Technic Pack Let's Play. <clears throat> Today's episode is going to be a bit different than most episodes. It's going to be uh, us building the sh the book factory building place. So to get started, we need to build our troughs, which we've done. See, I've gathered a lot of materials for this. And let's build the outer walls. I like a combination of maybe cracked stone bricks and regular stone bricks. Um, I got all the craft stone bricks by using the uh, stone stairs trick. Which, uh, if you don't know, if you take regular stone brick stairs and then point them in different directions and break them, you get a different uh, type of stone brick depending on which direction it was facing when you broke it. Um, so let's see. The pistons will need to go here. Yeah, that makes sense. And if we wire up the sides, that will help us out. We can probably have cobblestone on the inside to not waste our precious... Uh... Yeah, that, that's probably going to be helpful. And make sure we get pistons oriented in the right direction. Which is good. Building up a bit more of the outer walls. There are the pistons. And there's the wiring. Yep, it all works. Everything fires when we uh, power the circuit, which is good. Go ahead and fill it up with some sugar cane and start work on the second side. And uh, while that's happening, go ahead and clear out the shoutouts for today. Shout out to the G Man two five eight two five eight. Shout out to Free Runner, except with threes instead of E's, which is uh, clever. Shout out to Donkey Gamer nine. Shout out to Dynamic Polymorphism, which I believe is a computer science concept, but uh, not sure about that. And uh, I've had some people wondering if uh, they could get links posted in their shout out, like links to their channel or something. So I'm happy to do that. Um, I'll do some of that next episode. So from now on, if, you, uh, if you'd like that, just specify that when you're asking for the shout out and I will do so. So we've got ourselves the two sides built. Um, Right now we'll probably keep it at one floor, but later we, it'll be very easy to just upgrade this to have more floors. Um, I'm mostly worried about some resources, like uh, red alloy wire. I'm not sure I have enough for another floor to wire it all up. Actually, I probably do, actually, but at the point in time I was a bit worried. I was probably, uh, I just didn't want to be there without resources, because that would be bad. Right. So we need obsidian to collect all possible directions, or as many possible uh, directions as possible, of the drop. And then we'll just stick some iron pipes in so that it goes the right direction. Pull out our wrench as soon as we... Yeah, pull out our wrench. Make sure everything flows towards the end, which of course it defaults at the one that takes like the most swings to get to point the right direction. There it is. Yep, everything seems to work. Ah, uh, isn't that beautiful? So now we need to wire up the other side. Which is done in much the same way, given that they are the exact same design. Yep. A little bit of iron pipe. And make everything face the right direction. Good -o. And yes, everything fires. Nice. So we need to have our crafting table in the middle here, probably. Our automatic one, which I have forgotten to make. So I will do so now. Wow, this looks really cool on uh, super sped up mode. That actually looks really cool. I'm amazed. Okay. So we'll stick two in the middle, and have these be the paper producers. The reason I have two is so that if I do increase floors, I can uh, still handle a, a nice high output by just, uh, yeah, yeah this will reduce output on each one of those, or workload on each one of these tables in half, which should keep me from uh, ever reaching an overflow. Now let's just remember to get the, uh, the water flow sorted, because it's important that that also... Uh, will, if anything falls into the water, it'll also get sucked up. Although I haven't seen much of them doing that, but still it's a good idea to cover all of our bases here. Alright. Let's, uh, have a look. Wow, that's, uh, that's 
pretty pretty cool. So now we need, yeah, this is our paper into book crafting table. If you're looking for the schematic on which I'm building this, uh, check last episode, I believe, episode 10, where I upgrade from our episode 7 schematic to our new schematic. There we go. Got ourselves some chests. And, of course, we need to find a way to build there, which we'll just use some temporary obsidian pipes and then delete. Alright, so everything now should be wiring books into chests. So now the only issue is, uh, de dealing with the superficial aspects of the building. Yep, everything seems to be working. Right, I like mossy stone as kind of the exterior here. Uh, and I think I will cover the chests, because otherwise you see that ugliness going on in there. I suppose I could put one right behind them, but still. I think I'll just have it uh, be another chest that you can kind of flick a lever for the stuff to come out of. Which I'll try to figure out how to do. I think it's not redstone. To I'm, yeah, I'm going to need a redstone engine below them. Uh, which means I'll need to have some way of controlling redstone torches below the redstone engines. So, in order to do that... Hmm. Okay. Well, if we've got our levers, and we wire up here... Okay, that's not gonna work. Uh... Yeah, even, even if we try adding the torches afterwards, that will not help. So we probably need to go down one more here. Yeah, that'll do. There it is. And I'll probably, I'll only need one lever. Maybe I'll put a sign on the other side to, uh... Yeah, I'll call this the librarian lever. Book request lever. Click up for books. To request a book, click up. To request books, click up. Glad I figured out what syntax was best there. And we'll kind of hide all of that with uh, some good old mossy stone. And we will stick some chests in front. I think double chests again will work good. Will work well. Oops, adverb. Okay. So I like this because now we have a f like if we leave it for a long time with the with it flicked down, we have the storage capacity of two chests. And that's more than one chest. By about one. And if we go ahead and hook this up, uh since this isn't gonna be really visible from the outside, the optifine thing with the uh, them disappearing if it's only for a tick isn't really much of an issue. We'll go ahead and just have the whole thing happen in one tick. Ah, there they go. Everything seems to be working beautifully. Into the crafting tables, you'll see the engines are heating up. They're not going to explode. Don't worry. They only explode if there's lots of pressure on them. They're just kind of getting heated up. So if we flick that lever, books start coming. Ooh, but wait a second. That is a, not a good idea. Yeah, there, that'll work a bit better. And let's go ahead and bookshelf up the outside here, because bookshelves imply learning. There's like a little arrow after bookshelf that points towards learning. Maybe we'll have uh, glowstone in the little circle there. Yeah. And we'll build sort of a, an enclosure. This might be like a natural reading garden. We can build some chairs outside it at some point. There it is. Alright, so now we just need to cover up our structure here, because this is kind of ugly. So let's start by building a nice ring of stone bricks so that we have uh, some space to work with. Cool. Now it'd be kind of cool if there was a giant book on top of this building, which we can do with wool, and it's easier with like half slabs. You'll notice I accidentally kind of dropped a wool into the obsidian pipes. Not to worry, it's not going to, like, clog up the automatic crafting table. You'll see it just comes up to the crafting table and falls right out. Which means that, uh, there's no problem with crafting tables and accidentally eating stuff. You could actually design systems where, like, you have obsidian pipes below automatic crafting tables, and it can help you sort things without, uh, you needing diamond pipes. It's fairly complicated, but there are some situations where it would be very useful. Um, maybe I'll try to find one of those for a future episode. 
so we build the outer pages as kind of yellow to signify the shadow and like 3D-ness and then have sort of a a folding book in the middle let's see and half slabs here uh, not quite maybe if we used quarter slabs in the middle it would look a bit better there they are yeah that looks quite a lot better actually looks like a book so I think that's everything we'll need for the most part for this episode next episode I have no idea what we're gonna do but it'll be exciting you should watch remember to subscribe to help our village which is over there bro you'll notice I moved our airship over there there's the original design you'll see that there's some of their buildings are upgrading including the center one finally Thanks all for watching. This has been Dratnos. Goodbye.